Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. So this was completely unexpected, but guess what? We are getting a new DLC for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot and it's called the Dragon Ball Z Kakarot Daima Adventure Through the Demon Realm. And guys, this is incredible. Let's just watch the trailer because I cannot believe we are actually getting this. Let's go. Actually, before I do that, let me just actually increase the volume here. There we go. Nice. Let's go. Alright, come on. Dragon Ball Daima part one as well guess what this is part one guys incredible so we're gonna get a part two yes that's right now let's just check for a second the the screenshot so this is the demon realm here which uh, has some new creatures as you can see which is very interesting Goku is obviously going to be the chibi Goku the kid Goku F here Kaioshin as well which is nice uh, yeah, I mean, it's very short, but at least it tells you that it's gonna follow the story of Dragon Ball Daima. I presume it's going to release after Dragon Ball Daima finishes. So Dragon Ball Daima has, is going to have, I believe, 12 episodes. If I'm, I'm not sure if that's the case, but something like that, right? So that's gonna be 12 weeks. So maybe this DLC is going to be released uh, in 2025. I don't think it's gonna be this year. That's literally impossible. It's gonna be after January 2025. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the trailer looks nice, to be honest. Uh, it just showcases this. But what, the thing that actually surprised me the most is the fact that this is actually part one so part one of dragon ball daima to the new demon realm as you can see here and it's really cool that they're actually making a quite a big uh dlc expansion for this so yeah really exciting i wonder if they're going to implement some gaming mechanics some fighting mechanics different mechanics no idea to be honest but we shall see you know literally the, right now there's no information on this whatsoever but it's again really exciting and they want to keep dragon ball z kakarot alive and to be honest i love it i like it it's amazing we have another one here which is the trailer for um this one dragon ball sparking zero season pass that's right so this is the season pass and this is the characters we are getting. Alright, so Vegeta Mini, ah, surprise, surprise, and Glorio, that's right. So obviously in uh, DLC 2 you are going to get, uh, I mean DLC 1 you're going to get Gamma 1 and 2 and obviously maybe others. In DLC 2 people are going to get these two characters and if you did not pre-order the game you may get the Goku Mini as well, as you can imagine. And then uh, DLC 3 is going to come with other characters. So we, we are getting at least, at least, I think they said like 20 playable characters. That's right. Yeah, there we go. So we're getting, I know, like maybe seven characters per DLC, maybe six, seven, six, something like that. I have no idea, to be honest. But yeah, it's going to be over six, seven, seven. Like, I know it's going to be interesting, right? But yeah, really cool, guys. Really exciting. This is all we got for now uh, with this one. Uh, so yeah, it doesn't say when, but we know that the DLC 1 is going to come in Q1, which is going to be between January and March. And then DLC 2 is going to be in Q2, which is going to be obviously from April, May and June. So the first half of the year, we're going to get these two characters, sorry, these two DLCs with uh, maybe like more than 10 characters, which is pretty cool, right? And Hype actually published this, which is very interesting. So the Dragon Ball Battle Hour is going to be happening as well, January 18 to January 19. Dragon Ball Battle Hour 2025. Uh, the new key art is amazing. Goku here, Ultra Instinct, Epic Tournaments. You can see here. Uh, nice, nice, nice. Card game and everything. Found the way. It's Sparking Zero. Uh, obviously, Sparking Zero is not going to have a tournament because you can't have really, like, you know, <laughs> actual proper battles in a tournament with Sparking Zero because it's not balanced. But it's going to be obviously fun for, like, just casual battles and other stuff. Dokkan Battle. Uh, really cool. Nice, nice, nice. So yeah, there you go, guys. January 18th, 19. It's happening. Don't miss out. Nice. There we go. Battle Hour in Los Angeles. It's happening again. And in this one, they may obviously announce some more stuff like uh, the DLC for Daima, more details on that one for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Yeah, but it's really cool. Uh, as you can see, Bandai finally realized that, yes, uh, and obviously the way uh, Suisha, Suisha as well, that uh, Dragon Ball sells, Dragon Ball sells, and they should just mainly focus on Dragon Ball content, right? <laughs> but yeah, 
Really exciting, really fun. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot DLC Adventure of, through the Demo Realm DLC announcement trailer. Also, Xenoverse Future Saga Chapter 2 DLC. Daima Goku also has a trailer, which is really cool. Let's check it out. Daima! Wow, I mean, the graphics look so bad when you compare them to Sparking Zero. It's crazy, right? I mean, Zenoverse 2, uh, it, it, like, the difference is insane, right? I mean, just check this out, the textures and everything. Obviously, this is a very old game from 2016, I believe. I don't, I don't remember, to be honest, or 2018. But, but yeah, uh, crazy, crazy, right? And uh, yeah, that's it, guys, for today's video. Quite exciting, quite fun. Gohan Black is magnificent. <laughs> that's right. Nice, nice. Look at that. That's really cool. Uh, yeah. End of story, guys. That is it. Uh, hopefully, we're going to get more information for the Dragon Ball Z Kakarot DLC in a couple of months. Uh, V-Jump scans for Dokkan Legends, Breakers, and Sparking Zero. There's two more Super SD scans I did not include here. They're just about Gohan and Trunks. What if episodes from the game? So, again, these are from the video game. Nothing new, nothing special. It's just kind of like advertising the game to everyone out there, which, of course, makes sense. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, that's it guys for today's video. Honestly, it's been amazing. It's uh, awesome. I cannot wait to play the DLC for uh, for Daima, for Kakarot. And uh, in terms of the price tag, because there's going to be two parts to it, I wonder if they're going to release a season pass or not. Because if there's two parts to it, that means it could be a season pass. And the season pass could be about $20, more or less. And if it's just a story package per se, I reckon the first part is going to be around the $10 mark, potentially. But time will tell, and we will find out maybe in a couple of months at the Dragon Ball show. So guys, that's it for today's video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and as always, see you later in the next video.